Welcome, Jair Messias Bolsonaro, the Brazilian myth. Javier Millet is asking me to name my faction. It would be Ancapistan, of course. <laughs> and my settlement will be right wing rules. I do not want any leftists, any communists in my colony, so <laughs> that's, that's going to be my name, communists. Communists are wimp, no? They are so lame, like cry babies all the time. At any case, Bolsonaro is joining my my libertarian anarcho-capitalist colony. Welcome, Bolsonaro. Very polemic, very aggressive. Still, the president of Brazil, although he just lost the election to the populist, shameless Lula. As you can see here, Bolsonaro has a a tear on his eye because he just lost the elections and he's kind of sad. As you can see, it's it's late, so I will not have the time to build this bed. So I'm going to have Bolsonaro sleep on the floor. There is no other way. At any case, Bolsonaro sleeps daytime. Uh, he sleeps uh, nine times just like a normal person. And Javier Millet is, is a night owl. He likes to sleep at daytime. Javier Millet is a congressman here in Argentina. Very polemic, aggressive. Those two together would be just awesome. Amazing. I don't remember ever seeing Javier Millet with Bolsonaro himself, but I know they, they like each other because you know, they are both right wing, although sometimes I wonder if libertarians are really on the right wing. At any case, Javier Millet is still naked, as you can see, he has no clothes, and I need to build now a room for our Brazilian myth, Jair Messiah <laughs> Bolsonaro. Uh, Brazil got himself in a very difficult position. I don't see people who support Bolsonaro accepting Lula at all. But in any case, I have already, I have already tons of popcorn that I will make and watch the next episodes of of the Brazilian politics that I do not take seriously. For me, it's just for fun. I don't care. Really, I do not care. If Lula is president, if Brazil is, if, if Bolsonaro is president, whatever, man, it to me is just for, for fun. At any case, Bolsonaro is coming here to help build his own room. He's good with constructions a little bit. He's good with weapons, guns. He loves that. And I'm going to build a styling station to, to try to match, you know, bo both Bolsonaro and Millet to the real life looks they have so as soon as i have my styling station ready i'm going to try to bring bolsonaro and javier Millet. oh man they they already are fighting over ideology now here is libertarian bolsonaro or say a ver Millet likes to repeat that a lot and bolsonaro would say something like chega de mimimiza okay <laughs> <laughs> funny guy Bolsonaro. I think he is really funny. I'm going to miss him, really. <laughs> I already miss him. <laughs> that guy made me laugh a lot in the past four years. And I, I, I find Lula to be extremely boring. I have a combat. I have a, a caravan. There are combat supply here as... <clears throat> As you might know, the free market is truly free in this game. It's a, of course, a libertarian game. So there are no restrictions to what you can buy or sell. You can buy weapons, guns, drugs, people, slaves, whatever you want, even human meat. They said in Brazil that Bolsonaro wanted to eat an Indian. <laughs> I don't even remember hearing anything like that in America, come on cannibal they accuse the guy of being a cannibal that's the brazilian elections for you 
If you're interested in Dreamworld, this fantastic libertarian game, you can find it on Steam. It has a, a rating of 98% positive among 2,000 users. Amazing game. Download it, play it. The only thing is you must have tons of free time in your hands if you're going to take if you're going to take Dreamworld seriously, I mean, to try to finish it, it's huge. It doesn't seem to have an end. But in any case, I like big games. I'm not complaining, actually. It's just, I'm just stating the fact that this game is absolutely huge. Mille is lying on the floor, watching the, the sunrise. <laughs> Characters like to have fun in Dreamworld. The caravan is approaching, Bolsonaro is still asleep, he must be tired, poor guy, <laughs> in that election. He, he looked like shit. The last debate, I mean, it really got into the Bolsonaro, I mean, he's not a young guy, so he looked, at least, I, at least I thought he looked really bad. Bolsonaro really tired. And that's it for today, this is a smaller video. I will leave you with Sam Cedar and the majority report. If you are interested in debates about anarcho-capitalism or libertarianism, that's it for today. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.